Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, we went to Lady Gaga this Sunday. <laughs> she was amazing. She is a performance artist. And uh, we went to the after party and went, oh, you know, hanging out with Marc Jacobs and such things. And then we were trying to leave the after party, and there were no cabs to be had, but uh, there was this limousine that uh, nicely took our fare and took us home. And we were in the back of this limousine, and I happened to found, find this manila envelope. And because I was a little curious and just a little more than drunk, I opened it. And there were three poems and a story, and they were all signed by Chris with a K. And I thought I'd read them to you. So the first poem is called Passionate Poison. And I'm reading this to you because I might release these to TMZ or something tomorrow. So this <clears throat> You're the first people to hear these. Passionate poison. He came to us unknown as a snake waiting to bite. Biding his time, he sprung upon us. And surprise turned to love, his bite so sweet, his poison so addictive. Not taking, but giving life, and we dance with him. He claimed our hearts, he claimed our souls, he drew us in and bewitched us. His poison running through our veins. Our soul touching our spirit, moving our feet, and we dance with him. He is life. He is love. He split open his soul. He showed us all. He is our light, our understanding. He shared with us his music, his life, and we dance with him. <laughs> Number two. Again, all signed by Chris with a K. I'm falling off the deep end. Some of us just know things. Like, I can stare at the sky and tell you there's a 45.68% chance of rain. <laughs> Some of us just know things. Like, I can stare in your eyes and know that there's a 99.68% chance you're in pain. <laughs> and I want to heal you. I want to reveal to you all that is unreal to you. Punch me hard with the lyrics, hit me in the jaw, strangle me soft with the rhythm, put me in awe. Can you get it through my head that the living aren't the dead? You want to heal me. You want to show me all that is unreal to me. Cradle me soft with the lyrics, lullaby me to sleep. Lecture me hard with the rhythm, dry my tears that I weep. Can you make me understand why things aren't turned out as planned? <laughs> and then the number third made me realize who was writing this. I'm going to add some music. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Adam under my tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two Adam hugs and Adam under my tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Three Adam kisses, two Adam hugs, and an Adam under my tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Four dates with Adam, three Adam kisses, two Adam hugs, and Adam under my tree. And on the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Five Adam dreams. And then I read the story. Chris practically falls out of the booth, he's so drunk, and says, I still closed. Adam, I want to kiss you. He's had more than a few drinks, many more, but he's feeling confident, like this is definitely the appropriate thing to say right now. It doesn't matter that Adam hasn't had anyone in for more than a year and has stated outright that he isn't looking for a relationship anymore but he's used to the inevitable isolation of fame. Five Adams under my tree. It doesn't matter that Adams never made a move on Chris ever. It's time to say what he has to say and fuck the consequences. Adam looks sexy, staring back at him, bright blue eyes wide and smoky. His hair spiked up on the side the way that Chris likes it best, but he doesn't look happy. What the fuck, he said retreating somewhat from the way Chris was leaning his head into his shoulder. 
Chris continued to press his body up against Adam, clutching his legs and nearly pushing him out of the booth. Chris, man, says Adam, what are you doing? I'm touching you, he mumbles. It's nice. Chris moves his hand, Adam's chest feels his heart pounding a mile a minute. Adam gives Chris a little shove. Chris, where's your car? You're drunk. We gotta go. Garage across the street. Chris is so grateful for, for the ride that he gives Adam a big squeeze and says, Thank you, Adam. I love you. Chris rests his head against Adam's neck. Wish you wouldn't leave. I want you to stay forever. He looks up at Adam, who stares back, eyes huge and terrified. Chris decides to make him feel better. I love you, he says, and means it. I like, I love, love you. Adam blinks and then looks away a second later, thrusting his big dark sunglasses over his eyes. He says nothing, apparently focusing on crossing the street. Did you hear me, Chris Pelt? I love you. Shut up, Adam snaps, refusing to look at him. <laughs>